If you're shopping for toys this holiday season, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has tips to keep children safe all year long. Choose age-appropriate toys by reading the age label on the toy. For kids younger than three, avoid those toys with small parts that can be choking hazards. If you'll be purchasing a scooter or other riding toy to give to a child, be sure that child has a proper-sized helmet. And be cautious when buying high-powered magnetic sets. They can contain small magnets that are dangerous and should be kept away from children. It's Cyber Monday, and millions of consumers are shopping for a deal. According to the National Retail Federation, more than 122 million consumers plan to shop online today. That's up from the 121 million who plan to participate or who had planned to participate last year. Meanwhile, Americans spent less money over the four day holiday weekend amid a flood of discounts. The Retail Federation says consumers have spent an average of $289 since Thanksgiving. That's down 3.5% from a year ago. Nike has gone back to the future just in time for the holidays. Its first self lacing shoes, the Hyper Adapt 1.0, are now available to a small group of Nike Plus app users. On Thursday, the shoes will be available at the Nike Soho store in New York and the Nike Plus Clubhouse in New York by appointment only to experience and purchase the footwear. Later in December, the shoes will become available through the Nike Plus app and select Nike stores. And oh, by the way, they're priced at $720. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, several cities in this area have a ban on the pit bull breed. But is there any truth to the claims that pit bulls are a vicious breed? Valley News Team's Bradford Eric checks it out. But first, suicide is now plaguing younger kids. How everyone in a child's life can spot the signs and help.